Welcome. This is our health channel. I'm Dr. Justin Lin. We're shooting here in my clinic at Rehab and Biophysical Therapy in Tustin, California. Our health channel is created for us by one of us. Not too long ago was I where you're at wondering all these different health questions, how to sift through about wellness, fitness, and injuries. All the information out there, how do you really understand what the true source is and does it even make sense? So sit back, relax, and learn. Because after all, this is our health. I'm Dr. Justin Lin of Rehab and Revive Physical Therapy, and welcome to our health channel. Today, we have someone here for the pulse section of our health channel. We're going to talk about fitness and the group exercises. A lot of people are getting into group exercises, whether it's CrossFit, whether it's body pump, whether it's kickboxing. We want to talk a little bit more about the safeties that need to go behind it and the importance of safety to the general public. Hi, Fiona. Welcome to our show, The Pulse. Uh, we're excited to have you here today. Thanks for having me, Dr. Lin. Great. Well, I just want to start off and have the public get to know you a little bit better. So if you don't mind sharing a little bit about your background. Well, um, I, I got my master's in public health. I'm always, I'm really into health and fitness. But on the side, um, I like to teach group exercise classes. And um, I started doing group fitness since um, over, I think, 10 years ago. And I started teaching it um, maybe starting in 2008, and I've been teaching different classes ever since. Great. Could you tell me a little bit more about these courses that you take so the public knows, you know, what safety is being addressed and form. Of course, they talk about form, not just the rhythm and the flow of the programs, but if you don't mind sharing. Definitely. Um, well, I, I teach kickboxing classes and... Um, a lifting class called body pump and um, of course all group fitness instructors have to be certified um, not only their primary fitness um, certification but also the, the specialized program and of course forms techniques are so important and we we practice and practice and practice those those areas to prevent injuries. So, so you definitely get to get to around that before you get your certification you, you get tested? Yes, definitely. We get we get um, tested before in order to pass our certifications. That's great. So at least you know there's a certification. So when you're going to these classes, you're understanding. But typically, how many instructors are there? Is it just one, or is there multiple people kind of looking at other people's form? In each class, yes. there's only one instructor. So would you find that it's pretty difficult to kind of attend to? How many people are in the class? I would say, on, in general, um, about 30 people, 30 to 40. Yeah, so your focus, if you only got two eyes, uh, you know, it only can be one person kind of every split second, right? Right. I think the challenge is because the mix of people, we have a mix of people in, in every single class, and ranging from beginners to, you know, people who have been coming every day. So their forms and techniques are very, very different um, some people have no idea what, what forms and techniques they're supposed to do, so we encourage them to keep coming back, but um, definitely it's as much cueing in it as I can um, do or give, or directions I can give, um, it is impossible to attend to each and sing every single person. Would you suggest like just some tips, whether it's maybe hire another personal trainer, hire you on the side one-on-one -on -one to get uh, more safety addressed, more form addressed. I know it is difficult, so what are some tips you can give to some of the beginners that want to show up to your class, for instance? Um, <clears throat> for every single class, I always ask if there are anyone new, and if there are, um, I actually will have to quickly go over the forms, some of the movements, the, you know, how to keep your core engaged, yeah. but chest up, 
But even if I mention it, I know that a lot of them do not do it. Yeah. So in the end of the day, it requires them to keep coming back to finally really get in tune with, their, with, the, with the movements and their body. So it's a little bit of repetition. And, uh, you know, from what I read, if you guys have read uh, Blink with uh, Malcolm Gladwell and Outliers, you know, it takes something like 10,000 hours to really be an expert at something. And, you know, Fiona has, has been an expert in fitness. She's done over 10 years. I'm sure she's done well to over 10,000 hours. Uh, myself being a uh, just physical therapist and touching patients, it's been well over 10,000 hours. So it doesn't come easy uh, when you're starting off. And so don't be too hard on yourself. I think that's uh, one thought uh, that it is, right? And, mm -hmm. and, and learn when to stop. Learn your barriers, uh, I think, is, is another way to think about it because uh, do people come in injured or they tell, tell you about injury after sometimes? Definitely. Here and there, I, I, um, uh, members would actually come up to me after class telling me that, you know, their knee is starting to hurt or like maybe they have a back problem. And um, they tell me, oh, today I'm not going to jump because my, my, my foot hurts. So, you know, we kind of can't stop people from coming into class. At the same time, we tell them to, you know, you know, do lower impact movements right. and maybe stay on the ground, um, not jump so much. Yeah, and then just, you know, you have to be, you have to take ownership, you know, just because everyone else is in these classes. That's what I found uh, when I was researching CrossFit and uh, the people doing CrossFit, they're really hurting themselves uh, with with these movements because they're trying to compare themselves to everyone else and you have to know uh, me being a fitness professional in my past my younger years uh, just learn when learn, know when to stop you have to know how to stop be be take ownership of your actions uh, because there's only one instructor and she's doing the best that she can I know the other instructors are but the group instruction these uh, these little uh, army boot camp classes now are getting big and crazy so it's really important, the safety for you all out there watching to really get this addressed. Now, uh, let's go a little bit more personally. I know you've been uh, coming to get treated uh, right. for, for some uh, concerns. Do you mind sharing some of what you've found? Or? Um, definitely. So I injuries, I've, I've been through different sort of injuries, but only recently I've noticed there has been numbness in my left foot. And... It's a different kind of feeling that I've never experienced. I mean, I've broken my ankle, I've, I've you know, done something to my knees, but those all, all eventually went away. So with the numbness, it kind of prolonged and was really uncomfortable for me. And every, every kick I do, every movement I do with my leg, I could feel that numbness. And I, I, I talked to my friend, she's a nurse, and she said that, you know, you have to get that checked out because Numbness means nerve problems. Definitely. So I remember, oh, hey, I see, I have Justin, Dr. Justin Lin on my Facebook um, because we met through friends. And I see all the posts about, you know, all the posts about um, the, the sports injury, back problems, and all the techniques that he teaches um, us about, you know, what to prevent. So I decided to come see Dr. Lin and to get my problem checked out. And um, I've been coming here for, I think, a couple months yep. since, I would say, before the summer. Um, yes. So, I, and I can't tell you how much I have improved. I don't feel numbness in my leg now because of all the exercises that Dr. Lin has taught me and I realized one thing is that, you know, um, even though instructors are constantly, you know, practicing forms and techniques, just because, um, you know, overusing those muscles can definitely cause injuries, especially if I'm doing the same muscles every time. And um, I, I mean, I didn't, I, I didn't realize, you know, the importance of doing other exercises to prevent injuries. And I, I think that's one of the biggest thing. And also keeping my posture correct. And you know, I actually had the hard, hardest time finding my right posture. And yes. so I came here 
So I, now I'm, I'm fully aware of you know, myself, even when I'm at work, sitting for long hours. I, um, I, I hate sitting now because I feel like sitting is so bad for my, my, my body. So, so I've learned a lot of different things that I would have never realized. Yeah, and you know, sitting, I think the New York Times just came out that sitting is just the, the, the biggest epidemic next to smoking now, and it's actually causing more injuries. And, and, and so, you know, uh, Fiona came, and, and she came for help, and, and uh, I didn't want to divulge too much, but, you know, she really worked at it. She became a student of her body, and that's whether it's fitness classes or even rehabbing, understanding your 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 the way you move and how to move and different strategies to move. Like she said, sitting was really tough for her. Now she's able to have multiple strategies so she can extend her day at work, then go teach classes. Uh, another thing that she mentioned was repetition. And so if you're in a repetitive job, and then whether it's kicking all the time in, in Fiona's instance, uh, or you're typing all the time, or you're hammering things all the time, you really do need to have a balance. Uh, and you need, really it comes down to the core muscles. Uh, I would say that's your probably mm -hmm. greatest lesson is that <laughs> utilize your core muscles, right? Uh, yep. in, in, all the, in all the activities that you have to do because what, that's the foundation of, of where, we, where we were born and we came from here and we started growing out. Um, but yeah, no, this is uh, really great stuff. I mean, now you're more aware and you're teaching, are you teaching the, 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 the class members a little bit differently? Definitely. I, I um, actually would emphasize forms and techniques much more. And um, I, I do tell them that, you know, stretching is very important because sometimes they like to run out of their class. And I, I make sure that they, they you know, um, don't just come for this one class. I, I tell them to explore other classes, maybe take more yoga classes to strengthen their core muscles because um, ultimately we want our entire body to, you know, have a balance. Yes, and that's right on. And I'm so proud of her, how much she's progressed. And that's why she's here today to speak to all of you. Because even instructors are human and, and they can only do so much. And even they're getting injured. I get injured for, for you know, for <laughs> everything that I do in the repetitive nature of my job. Uh, but, you know, we want you all to know that there's ways you got to slowly build the foundation. You have to continue to want to get better and you know if you have aches and pains go check it out before it's too late numbness is not a good sign uh, numbness and tingling definitely on the Richter scale you know get that addressed as soon as possible but we're really lucky to have you here share your story thank you Fiona for for coming to the pulse Thank you for having me. It was you, a lot of fun. You can check her out. Uh, she teaches classes. Uh, and I think if you go on the website at Gold's Gym or 24-Hour Fitness Sport uh, in downtown LA, you can spot her. She does teach a great class with a lot of enthusiasm. And you know all her mm -hmm. members are really excited <laughs> to have her. So yeah, so this is our health channel. Remember, this is your health. This is our health. Uh, and so we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye.